I was there from the beginning of the DDT movement, yet we got it out of the environment. And MSG and baby food, we got it out. And bringing the issue of Agent Orange, we pushed the issue to we finally, 22 years later, got justification when the government had to settle. And we tried to get five, five GIs to come forward to talk about golf course syndrome at the beginning. We couldn't find five. Now there are over 100,000. Anyone on Prozac is 12 times more likely to attempt suicide. This is a criminal act. And I want to know why these criminals are still walking the streets. Therapy is making a comeback. It does not help depression. It does not prevent suicide. And the patients coming out of this treatment can have more problems than they did going in, including death. Let them see what the facts are. Why can't we simply say that it is really immaterial how beautiful you are? It is the beauty of your spirit, it is the beauty of your nature that counts. Psychiatrists involuntarily commit African Americans three to five times as often as they do whites. Psychiatrists diagnose African American men in public and private mental hospitals as having schizophrenia at a rate of up to 1,500% higher than white men. The first psychiatrist in America, the man whose face still adorns the American Psychiatric Association seal, Benjamin Russ, he was the one who coined the phrase nigritude. He's the one who said that blacks were black because they suffered from a form of leprosy. Therefore, cure their leprosy and you cure them of being black. And you can't imagine what that led to. More than 100,000 of the service personnel that served in the Gulf are claiming that they are suffering from Gulf War Syndrome. What is it the Pentagon, the Defense Department, the Veterans Administration fears by being open, candid, coming forward and laying all the facts before the American public? Two ex-CIA employees asserted that the CIA had evidence of up to 60 Gulf War incidents of American troops' exposure to chemical weapons. Well, there is absolutely no doubt that the United States government aided and abetted Saddam Hussein's chemical and biological warfare program. The number of unnecessary antibiotics prescribed annually for viral infections is 20 million. The number of unnecessary medical and surgical procedures performed annually is 7.5 million. It is evident that the American medical system is the leading cause of death and injury in the United States. Each morning in the United States, between six and seven million children are given a prescription medication before they can go to school. The doctor told us that he thought the drug Prozac would help Jacob. I found my son hanging in our attic. Stop putting drugs into kids and telling them they're disordered in some way. I believe that Eric Harris was literally driven crazy while taking 
this antidepressant drug.